So we serve a covenant keeping God with a covenant book delivered to us for each one to make his way by what he does with the content of that book. So success is not just about praying, it's about doing what is required of you. And when we do it, we can be sure where we are going. Now, I came across two, I had two word encounters in my early life. The first one is Proverbs 22, verse 29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before me. Immediately I knew that your position tomorrow is not a function of your connections. Now you are connected to someone today and the man is dispositioned tomorrow, then your connection becomes vain. That's no meaning. That turned my life on. That was in 1982. 1983-84, I came across another word very dramatically. Reading from Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And he said, My son, there's a place for you on top if you're interested. I said, I'm interested. Is anybody here who's not interested on, on top? Everybody desires it. When your son is first in class, you feel good. Oxygen looks more refreshing. CNN asked me, say, how do you feel when uh, they say you are the richest man? I said, I feel good. I mean, uh, what, how do you want me to feel? I feel good about it. Yeah, thank God they didn't say I was the poorest man. I mean, I'm not the greatest thief. So I thank God. He said, how do you, what do you think people think about you? I said, I don't know because I'm not in their mind. What they think about me is their own opinion. It doesn't do anything with me, and I can't be going to say, oh, What are you thinking about? <laughs> Somebody's changing level here. Yeah. How many excited to know that they have a heritage of exploit in Christ? Now, you know, get excited. Now, can I tell you this? We are going to humble the pride of the world in our own time. Yeah. You. All your mockers, we gather to celebrate your rising. New York Times once asked me, they said, tell me, what, what's the secret of the economic empowerment of your mission? I said, we teach people to be responsible. We do what? Christianity is a faith of responsibility. Only those who take responsibility make the most of their journey. It's not just hearing something and then writing it and walking away. It's all about responsibility. Now, let me tell you this. All of these demands, they are like steps to the top. And as low as this one is, try to read the platform without recognizing the steps will be <laughs> an open task never accomplish it. And then you're all praying. Everyone, all the prayer warriors, the prayer school leaders, everybody. Fasting, they say, we will never eat until you get there, but you mustn't use this step. You will pray until you can't talk again. I will never leave the same place. But very simply, with Bible sense, if he says, take this step, take it. Take the next step, take it. Take the one next, take it. Take the one next, take it. And then you are there. You know what? Every one of you must find your way to the platform. Because that's where you belong. He said, we are the salt of the earth. People must seek for us because of the values we bear. We are the light of the world. We show the world the way to go. We set the pace for others to follow. A city set on a hill. We are men, we are mountain top men and women. 
everybody should be looking up to find where we are. We belong, we are the mountain top generation of believers. We must be found on top and nowhere else. That's why I said you belong to the platform. All you need is to reckon with the steps. And then you get on there without any stress. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that's where you're going. What is diligence? Is putting your best into any given task. Giving the best of your time, the best of your energy, the best of your resources into any given task. We've been trying to exhaust or look at the covenant of success from Ecclesiastes 10 and we came to conclude that when the covenant is broken, success becomes impossible. And among the covenant terms listed here is in Ecclesiastes 10 verse 18. It says, through slothfulness, the building decay. Um, through idleness of the hands, the house dropped through. A number of us own estates. Some of us have places in our homes that are not really being used. And you find the system just breaking down. Breaking down for lack of use. We are God's building. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. We are the temples of the Holy Ghost. And so, lack of adequate engagement brings decay. The system begins to break down for lack of use. Imagine if you lock up your room, maybe not the whole house, in the village, and you are only going there in December. Huh? Because nature has bust back all the rats in the village must have gathered there. <laughs> and each one will have his own apartment within your room. Some under the bed, some on top of the bed, uh, some in your wardrobe, and they all have their portions and they are rearing children there. <laughs> so by the time you come back, you have an army of rats. <laughs> because nature abhors black. Don't let rats enter to your life. Engage. Some people feel they are finished doing what they should do. No. Work is not just about doing things, it's about also learning how to do it better on daily basis. So we have more than enough to do. You have done what is required of you for a period of time and you are learning how to do it better when next you have to approach it. So, <laughs> working to earn only makes a worker. It is working to learn that makes a leader. I'm sure you agree with me. No one hates to become a star. Every sportsman desires to become a star. It is the price that scares many. Everybody wants it. But not everybody is willing to pay the price for it. So most people won't get it. No one truly hates the top. It is the cost that put men off. The cost of getting there. As I've often said, no one can get out of life more than what he puts into it. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that also shall he reap. You can't sow a five-acre land and want to harvest from a 20-acre land. Your acreage is what defines the limits of your harvest. In a recent data in the U.S., because of this uh, theory that the top people are utilizing the middle class to get to where they are. Okay, let's find out. And then they found out that while the middle class and the lower class people work average of 30 hours a week, the top notchers work 56 hours a week. So who is using who? Each one finds himself 
according to his level of input. You can't get out of life more than what you put into it. You can't get out of life more than what you put into it. Why won't you come to hear what this short man is saying? He didn't go to bed this morning till 3.15. Service this hour is 6 a.m. What is he doing? Doing this thing. Doing the same thing. So it's all left to you. Can I tell you this? Your future is not just in God's hand. It's first in your hand. Because when you do whatever I command you, you first, then I will set you up on high. It is you that primarily defines your future by what you do with what he tells you to do. You first. You know, my life is in your hand, oh God. No, he said it's first in your hand and then in my hand. When you do what I tell you to do, my side is settled. He will always do his part. Can I hear your amen? Please, first of all, understand that by redemption, you are ordained for exploit. Exploit is superior to success. Exploit is about outstanding accomplishments. Out of this world, order of results. Out of this world, order of success. That's what it's about. How do I say that? You are the salt of the earth. You are a man of value to your world. Salt deficiency is the root of most problems. I mean, health problems, you just find salt as a baseline for most drugs. Why? It is essential for living. Salt deficiency will lead to all kinds of health crises. And you are the salt of the earth. You are to preserve the world from decay. You are a problem solver. You are a creator of solutions. Okay? And then you are the light of the world. Light means the pain setter, a pathfinder, a trailblazer. People have to study you to attend to their desires. A citizen on a hill that cannot be hid. That makes you a member of a family of exploits. That's how you belong. Then look at Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, covenant fathers. They were all men of envy. Men that were envied by their world. And Jesus asked Isaac, we are all children of promise. So you are also ordained, I'm also ordained to be envied. And they only envy people on top, they beat him in the pit. So that means you are ordained for the top by redemption. Going to work does not mean that you are working. Like I said, today with communication technology on everybody's fingertips, you can be at work and be tweeting all day. You can be at work and chatting on Facebook all day long. You can be watching your TV from channel to channel and people think you have gone to work. No, you have gone to watch. You have gone you have gone to chat a whole man. And he will say, Oh no, it's been a very busy day. <laughs> busy doing what? Busy doing nonsense. I've told you before, those who make news don't watch them. They are too busy making for those who are watching to be watching. One day in my office, one of the staff called me on the intercom. Daddy, 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 I saw you on the satellite TV. I said, what? You saw me on satellite TV? Doing what? I said, where? He said, in the office. In the office? I called the children's minister. I said, all TV is grounded. Now. <laughs> TV in the office to do what? <laughs> ah. 
Now, can I tell you this? I've never seen myself on TV in my life. That me, I'm sitting down and then that. Okay. That, that I saw myself. No, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Huh? I've never seen myself on TV in my life. Because by the time I'm back home, they don't watch TV again. You know what I mean? <laughs> Someone is blessed here. Can I tell you something? We are going places. Because many destinies are tied to yours. You can't afford to be careless. Thousands are tied to your exploits. And in Jesus' name, you shall not be a disappointment. In Jesus' name, you shall not be a disappointment.